Hey YouTube, it's Jeffrey here in Chicago, the windy city, and it's not particularly windy today. It's a little chilly, but it's actually really nice. Uh, I just got here a few hours ago, uh, and my train arrived about an hour late, but apparently that's normal for Amtrak. But what can you do? They don't actually own the track, so they kind of have to deal with whatever the private trains are doing. So anyway, I got here safely, and so far I've been enjoying the city. I stopped at a cafe called Intelligentsia Coffee, and the great brew, fantastic, um, and otherwise the city has been really impressive. It's lively but not crazy, and it's also relatively clean, even though I'm kind of making these comparisons to New York City, which is notoriously dirty and crazy. Uh, anyway, I hope I get to come back here and spend more than uh, just a few hours. My next train leaves uh, at about 3.30. And, well, next stop, Denver, Colorado, so by this time tomorrow, I will be back home. And it seems like it's been a really long time since I've been there, but it's only been 13 months. I mean, it's just over a year. I was listening to a podcast on the train yesterday with a guy named Cal Fussman, and he spent uh, about this time in his life um, wandering around Europe for 10 years. And never going home during any of that point. Um, and I highly recommend listening to this podcast. It was on the Tim Ferriss show. I think it was episode 161 or something. Uh, it was last year. Just look up Cal Fussman on the Tim Ferriss show. F-U-S-S-M-A-N. Um, this man has some of the most incredible stories I have ever heard. And he is fantastic at telling those stories. So... Please, it's three hours that's very much worth your life. Um, but it was a really good podcast for me to listen to right now because I'm really getting motivated to get back to work and honestly I'm kind of getting tired of not having work to do. <laughs> I, I, yes, granted it's my own fault and I have certainly enjoyed my time traveling the world but at the same time there's so much meaning that I derive in my life from working on big projects, whether it's self-improvement or whether it's in my career, which I, which will be a project in itself, you know, finding a place to start my career. But it's that, that constant striving, that constant growth that really gives me meaning, gives my life meaning. And listening to the stories of Cal Fussman, I, I, you can't top that. I mean, this guy spent four months, several hours a day, in the boxing gym just for one round in the ring with a world-class boxer. He spent two years studying to become the sommelier, the wine expert at the Windows on the World restaurant at the top of the World Trade Center, just for one night. I mean, he embodies that idea that it's not about getting to the top, it's about the climb. I mean, you don't go hiking to go stand at the top of a mountain. You go hiking to walk up the mountain. And it's so easy to overlook that, and it's so easy to fall into comfortable routines or just, just to give in to easy comforts of life. And so much of the last couple months of my life have been that. And I'm kind of embarrassed and ashamed and just disgusted with how that has gone for me. Um, I'm ready to settle down somewhere, not for the sake of settling down, but just so that I can automate parts of my life that free up the energy to do really cool things. You know, working on personal development, working on getting that job that I really want, working on becoming an expert in my field. Like, those are the things I want to do. And, and you know, Tim Ferriss, the guy who was interviewing Cal Fussman, he became famous because of his book, The 4-Hour Workweek, and many people see it as a way just to escape work in general, but no, the point was to escape meaningless work, and to free up more time to do meaningful work. And meaningful work tends to be harder than meaningless work. That's the kind of work that you're in the boxing ring for several hours a day, getting the crap kicked out of you, but you go back again and again because you're growing. It's, it's studying every single day and pushing your boundaries. It's, it's going outside your comfort zone, doing the stuff that's really hard. And that's the stuff that makes life worth living, because if we're just doing the same thing every day, then why bother? Why do it again? 
and I feel like I've been doing a lot of the same things every day, just figuring it out over and over again. So, I'll be home tomorrow, I'm ready to get my life started again. I don't know if I'll broadcast again, because, well, I'll be home. Anyway, see you soon.